Oh, it's awesome, man. I mean, it's one of the most unique training camps of all of college football. And, you know, to be able to come out of here and you know, escape all distractions, you got the guys. Um, you know, it was, it was great, you know, coming out here, jumping on the buses and the guys seeing it. We know we got a lot of new players. So it's the first time they get off the bus and they get to see it. And a lot of smiles, um, you know, when they got off the bus to come in and eat the first meal. Now, you know, this practice, this heat out here has been good for them. It, you know, maybe not smiling as much now, but it's, but it's awesome. The people treat us so great out here. Um, you got so much space, meeting space, and, and, and the fields now. We got a new turf field back behind us that we just, just did this off season. So um, it's, it's outstanding. I mean, you can't ask for anything better. What was the funniest reaction from a player getting off the bus? You know, I don't know. I think I think mainly just some facial expressions that, you know, when some of these city guys come out here and all they see is trees and uh, and nobody else, you know, it's just kind of us and isolation and, and all that. And, you know, but, it, but, I, but, I, but I do think they've embraced it because they know while we're out here, and so this this group has come out here, embraced the, you know, the opportunity to get to know their teammates better, to, to be connected, um, and also to get better. I mean, I think um, they know what it's all about, and I think they've really embraced it. And that's what I'm proud of. Did you do this anywhere else? I may have answered this last year. But... No, I, I don't know um, hardly any, of anybody doing this really, quite honestly. Um, you know, I think maybe you know, I remember when I was growing up, the NFL used to go to different training camps and different spots, you know, and I think a lot of that's stopped as well. Um, you know, so when I got here, you know, Wid, this is his baby. He loves it. He's been doing it for, I think, all this the 26 year, all 26 years. So he's telling us all about it. So um, I feel way more comfortable this year being out here, you know, because it's the second year and you know what to expect, you know what it's all about. And um, yeah, it's been great. Does it change your approach any year too? Because you didn't know what to expect yeah. last year? Yeah, I think so. I, I think as we plan, as we, you know, we plan our meetings, as we plan our lists and how, when we practice and all that, I think it, it certainly. You get a better observation of what we need to do. Um, you know, we are. We last year we didn't have a night practice, but tomorrow night we're going to be at night. I think that'll be that'll be neat. So, be under the lights here and, and, and get a good good first tackling practice as well. So that that'll be good. Any updated timetable on Dante at all? No, I mean no. We're again we're taking this day by day. You know, he's been out here. He's doing mainly a lot of individual drills and a lot of the walk through drills with the guys. Um, you know, anything that our trainers and doctors will allow him to do, he's doing it. Um, you know, he's working on to be in great shape, and when he gets his opportunity, he'll be ready. Coach, a lot of energy on both sides of the yeah. ball today. How much has this grueling offseason helped prepare your team for this environment? Yeah, I mean, this offseason, we talked about how hard it was and tough it was, and, and, and there was a lot of competitive spirit, is what I'd call it out here. A little, little, you know, a little jaw on a back and forth, and, you know, but, but it, today was our first red zone period that we had, so that was good to be able to see and go back and coach off of. But, you know, we, we feel like we got a, a, a much more connected team compared to last year, and I think that, that obviously is what we all want. Um, even though we've brought in that many new players, and um, it's it's a good group. It's a fun group to be around. I mean, you know, you, you look forward to going to the meetings. You look forward to getting out here on the field because you know they're they're eager. You can see it in their eyes, and they want they want to continue to get better. Speaking of the 48 new transfers and incoming uh, players this season, what was your message personally to them heading out here to those who asked about what campfire round was like? You know, they really didn't have a lot of questions about it. You know, I think um, I think they're such great kids that they're like, all right, coach, we trust you. That's why we're coming here. You know, whatever you're asking us to do, we're going to do. You know, and I think they, they, you know, we talked about, hey, guys, we're coming out here to, to get away from distractions. Uh, they want it. They welcome it because, I mean, they, they, they want to get better. They want, they want to be good. You know, and I think uh, that, that's, that's a big attitude, I think, that you want to have is, is always want to be good. With like, Yeah, I mean they've done they've done a good job. They're they're creating a lot of pressure. You know, the, the three man rush when we do drop eight, those guys are doing a great job. I mean Hunt's making some plays, Warner, um, Eric Phillips. Um, you know, and you know we're, we're rotating. We're playing a lot of D line. I mean, I you know, shoot, I feel like we got close to 20 defensive linemen right now, and so you know we do have a lot of depth. And I think if, if anything good about you know Corleone not going right now is the fact that we are rotating and getting a lot of guys in there. So hopefully when Dante is able to come back and play, those guys have gained a lot of experience and be ready to help out. There's a freshman that don't look like freshmen. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you hesitate to play these guys? Is no, heck go? no. I mean, I, you know, I, we talked about this in the team meeting last night. I mean, I know all of them want to start. They all want to play. You know what? Some of them are. Some of them are going to play. I mean, some are going to play a lot. There's, there's some talented freshmen in this group, you know, as we continue to go down practice, you know, we're going to try to expose them to see what they can and can't do, you know. But but a lot of this, a lot of these guys are, are meeting the challenge and um, and doing some really good stuff. I mean, it's uh, it's fun to see, you know. And for them, you know, you get a little bit of first time, you know, it's the first training camp they've ever been to, you know. And so 
it's a little eye-opening in, in that regard, but I do think those guys have come a long way and, and, and are making plays. I mean, I think about like Monte Weed, and I think about, you know, Simeon. Those are two linebackers that are flying around making plays. Um, you know, it, it's it's good to see some of those guys that are really in the fold right already as a young age. Coach saw Aaron Turner making plays all over the field today. How have you seen him continue to grow and develop within this offense? He, he's he's probably one, had one of the better summer springs and summers anybody on our team. I mean, he really did, you know. He, he, you know, came out and, you know, we brought in some receivers and for him, he was like, man, that's a good challenge for me. Let me, let me bring my, my game up. And he did, you know, he increased his speed throughout the summer. Um, his catapult numbers were great. Um, and then now he's translating that onto the field and he's been able to make plays. It's great to see him. He made it shoot four or five big plays today. It was, it was awesome to see. And I think that's just going to help continue to grow his confidence. With the freshmen that you brought in, with him making so many plays mm -hmm. early, how does that make you feel about the depth, especially on the Yeah, it, it helps the depth tremendously. You know, we brought a lot of transfers in as well, but but we were really counting on some of these guys to come in and give us that depth that we're going to need. And, and as we work through the next two weeks, you know, we'll see where they are. But but we're pleased to where, you know, the production they were able to put into so far. Any questions for Coach? Thanks.